Hello, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Today we're going to talk about HMI messaging. We're going to talk about the messaging that is triggered and pops up on the HMI via the PLC program. Okay, so stick with me. Let's let's get into this. This will be a fun fun uh, project here. All right, so let's look at our project, and this right here is our HMI that we're talking about. So basically. We're talking about process messaging, which will pop up here on a banner that will tell us what to do in each step of the process. Start, you know, the, that they have the control powers on. Um, load the parts, load the clips, um, cycle, machine in cycle, um, clips in, in motion, and, you know, uh, then unload the parts, okay? So all of our messaging on our HMI. So let's look at what how what that looks like. So this square right here is representative of our HMI screen right here. All right. So now what we'll do is we're going to use our PLC and we are going to write the code that will trigger uh, the messaging. You'll see what I'm talking about. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to load in um, let's say three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five HMI screen. And I'll tell you what, let's delete those. We're going to build one and then we'll just, we'll just, um, copy and paste. So here we're just going to put in input 100 as our trigger. Okay. And we'll just, I'll tell you what, let's take that out. And we'll just copy and paste. All right. So now we got four or five. So here we're going to put in input 100. Input. Input 101. Okay. And input 102. And I know that. Uh, watch this might not be the most exciting thing, but you'll see what I'm what I'm talking about. And. You know this is this is uh, the long way around of building this code, but for any of those any of you who are new, you'll get to see me do it in a very basic manner here. That's what's real important. Okay, so now this is gonna be source one, source two, okay, source three, source four, all right, source five. And source six. All right. So now I've already made up made the tag. So I'm gonna make sure that up oh, five. I didn't think I had had made the tag for five. So here our our tag is a message board main screen message board. All right. And all we gotta do is just. So what's gonna happen is when these are individually triggered, they're they're each unique because I've given them a number one through six. But they're all going to trigger the same message board on the HMI. Okay, so right now, message six is populated. Okay, so let's go ahead and download this and you'll see what I'm talking about. And this is very basic uh, outline. It's, you know, it wouldn't take that much to put this in, in uh, a very functional program. Um, so where's our, we have one error input four see oh right there so we didn't put our i uh, for input all right let's go back we'll download this <coughs> program to our compact logics and then we'll be ready to go and as each of these are triggered it will move a new number into our MSMB tag and then it will trigger the appropriate message. So let's go ahead and back to our to our HMI. And in the HMI um, screen here, this is a multi-state indicator. And it has what, like 22 uh, different states that that pop have messages that pop up, okay? on this banner right here okay and i'll show you you'll, you'll see what i'm talking about when we get going here okay 
So now we're going to put this in a test mode. All right. And we're going to pull up our HMI program. And then we're going to make sure, let's see. All right. We're just going to do that out of practice. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to trigger band number one. Okay. So uh, I'll press the cycle, uh, start to begin the cycle. Okay. So it's going to put a one in. Are we in run mode? Ah, we're not in run mode. Ah, that happens sometimes. Sometimes you get going and you, you don't pay attention to the details. And that's what happens. So now we have control power off. That's our number one message. So if the conditions on rung zero in our HMI routine is triggered and whatever conditions that need to be met before that message is triggered here. And generally, you have the input 0, 100. In this particular case would be, do we have control power? Okay, if we do not, or if we do and or do not have control power, the condition would be met, our message would be made. So in this particular case, in truthfulness, what we would need is a Examine if closed, or all right, examine if open uh, condition. Let's accept our edits and okay. So now let's trigger that. All right, uh, one's already in there. So let's not trigger that and it will retain that last message. Now we've triggered number two. Notice how on the MSMB on all of these that number has changed. Okay, so they share that destination. The source, though, is message number two, which is waiting for all cylinders to home. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to toggle that off, right? All right, so now message number three. All right, so clear the light curtain for clip drivers to extend to the load the clips. Okay, so we're going to toggle that. We're going to trigger input 103. All right, load the clips to the drivers. Very simple. Okay, all right, so we're going to trigger number four. Bam. All right, that is message load part to the nest. MSMB four. Boom, and number five. Okay, press cycle start to begin your auto cycle. And then you would just continue all of these, these uh, move statements for all the different messages you want popped up on your HMI. Okay, that, that, I hope that's pretty simple. Now, two things to remember. The first one is there might be a lot of conditions that need to be met before these messages are permitted to pop up. Okay, so you would build in all of those different conditions in your programming. That's number one. Number two, we'll come over and take this out of test mode. Inside this banner, what we actually have is nothing more than a multi-state indicator with different states, okay? So basically what we can do, what you can do is, where's our multi-state indicator? Right here, right? We're gonna come over here and just like I did here, and we will build up a, a um, multi-state indicator um, on our program. We will add, add all of these different uh, states, create them and create the messaging right here, adjust the colors and then uh, make sure that we have oh, one other thing. Make sure that we have the uh, the tag associated, which should just be MSMB. Okay, very simple, nothing to it. Okay, so this isn't an HMI program uh, training video, but I wanted to show you how to uh, do the PLC side of it. All right, so we'll we'll talk more about the HMI side uh, in another video. But today, I just wanted to set you, let you see, even if you didn't have the HMI, which will be the case at times when you're in the real world programming, you need to know how to set up your messaging to communicate um, through the HMI. All right. And that's how this is our focus right here, the, HMI, the PLC side. All right. So this is Paul with Logics Magazine. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. So until next time.